don't you introduce yourself? You go first. <laughs> Hi, guys. I am Sloan Wilson. We also like to call her Rebecca. Sloan oh, my Wilson. gosh. Rebecca's my Caitlin first name. I'm <laughs> <Rosick. laughs> Nice to meet you. They're putting us on the spot. Here we go. Oh, gosh. We have some questions for you. Okay. Kate wants to cover her pants. Hey, so you aren't supposed to out me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't okay. really see it, though. Okay. The first question. So, you know when you start searching and it, like, knows what you're already going to ask? Yeah. This is for all you singles who are okay. like, oh, yeah, it got me. How do I know if he or she is the, the one? one. Sloan's Ooh, going first. Scandal. Is it? Am I? Uh, that's really hard to answer in a quick little uh, video. That's probably why they did it. Just put <laughs> us on the spot like that. Um, you know he or she is the one because you've... Uh, dated them yeah. <laughs> <Ideally>. because you've <laughs> figured out who they are <laughs> you've uh, been in love you've been committed yes. you've had a trusted group of accountability yes, and counsel in huge. your life that are huge. like yes no red flags because if you think that there is no red flags it is not the same as the people around <laughs> you <laughs> that are like oh girl exactly. you are blinded by love there are some major red flags here so sorry y'all that one was a little oh, lame gosh. this one's gonna be loaded i feel like i can already see it this one's the most commonly asked question to us and <laughs> yeah. to google how far is too far <laughs> every dm we've ever gotten for more revolution <laughs> and every question i ever got as a youth pastor you have to be kind to yourself yeah, there you we don't go. Wanna, That's a great way of putting yeah, it. Yeah, the, how I say it is like you don't want to start something you can't, can't finish. finish. That's and great. so if you do, if you're constantly getting your engines revved up and you're starting something that you can't finish, you're going to be frustrated yeah. and then you're going to end up wanting to go more. Um, also, just the Bible says, don't awaken love until it so desires. Yeah. So you're awakening it, you're stirring it up, and then you're wondering why do I want to keep sinning or go farther or all the things. Yeah, I agree with that too. And one thing that I learned when I went through this counseling situation that was really awesome, is the counselor was saying, you wanna introduce healthy touch into a relationship. So even if you're like, if you're engaged and you are, or you're dating and you know that you're gonna be getting married or you like have plans to get married, um, that mentality can come in of like, oh, we can like skirt past boundaries. It's no big deal. Like our plan is to get married. Well, you wanna be able to introduce healthy touch into your married life. My youth pastor used to always say, holding hands leads to sex. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it okay for a girl to ask, oh my gosh, ask a guy out? I think so. I think there's a difference between, I, oh my gosh, in the church environment, guys, I think it gets so frustrating because you'll hear like girls be like, I just want to be pursued. But then they don't show any inclination that yeah, they the guys are, have want no to be idea pursued. they're even on their radar. <laughs> yeah, so I think there's a difference between being like being the pursuer and initiating things. Yes, like as a girl, yes. definitely initiate something. You can like initiate. You let can a guy get on know the radar. you're interesting. Yeah. Yes. Like let a guy know that you're interested in them, or you know, you can start a conversation with them and not be considered the pursuer. So I yes. think yes. Yeah. You go you go do it, girl. Go yeah. ask that guy out. Yeah. As long as you're in a good place, that would be yes, great. Yes, if you're ready. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't mean you're going to carry all of the pursuit from here on out. It means you're yeah. initiating to say, hey, let's go. What do you want to hang out? Or Yeah. Does age matter, Kate Zick? Um, I don't think it's age as much as just maturity because I think, That's a good point. yeah, you could totally be like, there's so many stereotypes of like, oh, if a girl, if I'm a woman, like, I don't want to marry a younger guy. Oh, I would never do that. Like, how many times have we seen that I would never be like slapped in our face yeah. and but and go beautifully. So, yeah, I have so many friends who've had age gaps um, both ways, guys and girls, large ones, small ones, girl, older, whatever. But I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's your maturity it's your core values, it's your faith, like it's not the age I don't think matters, personally. That's a really good point. Yeah, it's maturity. Okay, <gasps> next one. Oh, I don't know what this is gonna be. What are some good questions to, to ask, ask on a date? <laughs> Sloan's going first again. Am I? Okay. Oh, yeah. um, um, good question to ask on a date. Well, first off, what's your name? Would be great, especially if Hopefully it's a blind you date. Hopefully know your name. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. It's a blind date. You don't know. I think that good questions are like, what are your hobbies? Like, what are things that you enjoy in life? Like, genuine friend-to-friend -friend kind of questions. You don't have to dive right off the deep end in, like, the first 30 minutes of day one of meeting them. Yeah, that's great. 
Yeah, and get, you can get to know, you could ask specific questions. Yeah. Are you close to your siblings? Or do you like living here? Because if, the, you know, they moved for college or something. So I think just questions that get into their story without being like, tell me everything. Yeah. Is it okay to date if? I have no desire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. To get married. Oh. Um, okay. First thoughts? Like you have no desire to get married ever or right now is the quantifying that's, that's question there. Because if you're not ma ready for right now, I still think that's okay. It's if you don't want to get married yeah. ever, you're just fooling with this person's totally. heart. I mean, the thing with casual dating, though, is you've got to realize it's not all about you. Like yeah. you're not going into a dating situation and being like, I'm getting everything I want from this casual dating experience. That's not super fair. Mm -hmm. You have to recognize that there's another human involved that has thoughts, emotions, feelings, maybe feelings towards you, and for you to go into a casual dating experience with no intention of being serious, like that just doesn't feel super fair. I know, I don't yeah. think that going out on dates to figure out what you're actually interested in or want is, I don't think that's bad. I just think it needs to be kind of clear. Like yeah. you don't go into the first date saying, you know, I'm not gonna marry you, I just want you to know that. <laughs> but I think that if you go into the first date just being more clear about maybe the season of life that you're in, maybe not just going on wild dating yeah. sprees like you're not just like meeting my needs right now and then i'm going to toss you to the side yeah that's not fair that's not how okay. do i know oh my gosh if i'm ready to date we work with a guy named jason valentin and he's amazing we love him so much he does a lot of stuff with us on the realm of dating and like intimacy ladder and trust, like how to gauge trust and like the beginning of a relationship especially. But he always says, you know you're ready to date if you can leave the person better than you found them. And you, you just have to know you're healthy. Yeah. And again, we've said this before, but the people around you need to yeah. say, uh, like you, the, I mean, it's so huge to have community y'all. So if you have community around you who are like, oh, red flags, you're not okay. You know, especially mm -hmm. like the whole idea of rebound dating. That's oh my very gosh, it's real. So real. It's very real. Um, or if just a guy that you had your eye on and then you see him going with somebody else like you didn't even date, then you're like, I've got to find somebody to prove to myself. you got to realize, too, that marriage isn't like, an, a, like a reward. Like dating, a, a relationship isn't a reward for good behavior. Dating mm -hmm. is like, are you in a place where you feel like you can invite another person into yeah. your journey? Like, yeah. so that's why it's big on taking care of like your inner world and your spirit and walking with the Lord like in a way where you feel like you can invite someone else into that journey. So yeah. just a little side note. So, and the healthy thing is saying you're whole, like yeah. that you're not trying to find somebody to complete you, that you're like, I'm complete, I'm good with the Lord. Cole always says that two halves don't make a whole when it comes to the, like marriage and dating. It's like, you have to be a whole person. It takes two whole people to make a whole marriage. So you just have to know like, I'm whole, I'm not doing this out of just a need to, you know, be, like to be healthy. Like if you're like, yeah. oh, I'll feel healthy if I have somebody. That's what I probably would have <laughs> said if I was being honest with myself. So yeah, good you gotta point. be good on your own. Is okay. it okay to date someone, ooh, my, oh my family. God. My arms aren't this ooh, long. Doesn't like. <laughs> well, I mean the first question there is like, is your family a good source? So like yeah. for me, um, I definitely had some of those like question marks, but some of my family didn't share the same core values that I had, so I'm like, well, sorry that he doesn't do these things that you would wish he would do. Um, but for me, it, it does matter what they think. Again, it's the whole red flag yeah. thing. If they're like, red flag, this guy's dangerous or scary or he's yeah. not treating you well or he's verbally abusive, like those types of conversation. Um, yeah, so for me, the first question would be, is your family somebody that's a good source? If you're in a place where your family, like Kate said, are you know good people you got same core values and this dude is just like a bad dude or this girl is just like not super great news you got to trust the people who know yes. you the longest yeah so i love it i'm sloan wilson and i'm caitlin zick and this is the web's most asked questions about dating we'll see you next time <laughs>